We have made first contact with the Sanctuary and have begun her integration with our battle group. She has undergone minor repairs with the assistance of the logistics ship Solace, but for the most part has successfully maintained hull and systems integrity. Inspection by the Solace's engineers has revealed the Sanctuary to be fully self-reliant and self-sufficient. Modified dust intakes collect nebula gas and there's a full fuel processing facility aboard the ship. Moreover, the Sanctuary holds tens of thousands of Great War refugees in cryogenic suspension, waiting for the day that humankind could claim another planet as home. Upon hearing of our origins, Admiral Nishiev has made her intentions clear regarding the future of the ship and her passengers. The Admiral and her crew wish to follow us back to our home universe, where humanity has not been destroyed by the Shivans and where mankind still has a home among the stars. Although we have, at present, no means or understanding of how to return to our universe, I have accepted the request of the Sanctuary's crew to accompany us. From a humanitarian perspective, we cannot condemn these refugees to a life in hiding, waiting for the Shivans to determine their fate. Nor can we deny ourselves the company of what is likely to be the only remaining human presence in these systems. The destruction of the SD Chitin appears to have captured the attention of Shivan forces in Laramis. Shivan activity has intensified within N362, and Reconnaissance reports a large number of Shivan warships entering the system from the Laramis jump node. A number of Shivan warships are based at the node, preventing any ship from leaving the system. This presents us with a tactical difficulty. The blockade is of sufficient strength to challenge our warships, and without the help of the Orestes battle group, we cannot guarantee the survival of our ships if we attempt to break through. Communications difficulties prevent us from coordinating an assault with the Orestes. There is also no way to tell if a similar blockade is being set up on the far side of the node, in the Laramis system. This has significantly limited our strategic options, and time is growing short. Fortunately, there exists an alternative exit strategy. Navigation logs were downloaded from the Duke's computer to ascertain the final destination of the possessed cruiser. Reconnaissance at those coordinates revealed a striking find, a Nosos artifact. This is the only knowledge that we have had of a Nosos portal in this system, although it has been theorized that several unstable subspace nodes must exist, due to the intense gravitational forces exerted by the N362 star. The portal appears to have been only recently activated, most likely by a communication from the Duke once it had arrived in the system. The activation of the portal might also account for the increased Shivan activity. Though we have no idea where the portal leads, it presents a more attractive target than running blockades in Shivan contested systems. I have ordered our ships to make for the portal. To maximize our chances of success, the Temerar will be making a diversionary attack at the Laramis node in an effort to draw Shivan forces away from the rest of the battle group. Although the Temeraire was designed for rear line operations, she is still a formidable offensive platform and the most powerful warship we have available. Our onboard mounted torpedo launchers should also give us a tactical advantage over Shivan capital ships, so long as we outrange their main beam cannons. We have yet to regain contact with the GTD Orestes. We have no idea as to the status of the destroyer and can only assume that we make this journey alone. Should our fortunes turn against us today, keep with you this affirmation. I have been honored to serve with you all, and I have no doubt in my mind that the Temeraire is home to the finest crew in the GTVA. Godspeed. Rear Admiral Carey, GTD Temeraire. All right, 56. We've got our backs up against the wall with nowhere to run. We've been cut off from the Orestes battle group and have been forced into making a run for the Gnosis portal. The Shivans are moving into this system like flies onto a corpse, and there's precious little time to prepare. Rear Admiral Carey has ordered the battle group to split into two groups. The first group, composed of the Sanctuary, the Solace, La Boucher, Duke, and Bretonia, will make a run for the node. You've been assigned to cover their retreat alongside elements from the 61st Squadron. The Temeraire and her fighter wings are to form the second group, they will be assaulting Shivan positions at the Laramis Jump Node in an attempt to draw as many Shivan forces away from the Nosos portal as possible. Be thankful you don't have to be in that firestorm, pilots. Scouting wings report a number of Shivan vessels near the portal. 
Two Rakshasa class cruisers are in the area with two wings of Mara fighters as escorts. The Maras will be your primary targets, but do not spend too long taking them out. Our ships will be entering the system soon after you arrive and will be making their way to the portal. We need the anti-ship firepower of the Shivan cruisers minimized if our ships are going to survive the gauntlet. Of course, don't expect the rest of the Shivans in the system to sit idly by while we steal the last vestiges of humanity from under their noses. So expect further Shivan forces to arrive. You'll be operating without logistical support pilots. The majority of the Temeraire's resources have been spent preparing for the assault at the Laramis Node. Try to save your secondary armament, since you'll have nothing to replace it with over the course of this mission. For this reason also, choose your armament selection carefully. You may consider arming yourselves with trebuchet missiles and Maxim cannon in order to disarm warship beams at long range. 